Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see how to fix WhatsApp couldn't start error on iPhone. If you are experiencing this problem, then you may try the troubleshooting step that I'm about to suggest. For some people, the first method could be helpful and for others, the fourth step could be helpful. So give a try with one by one and mostly within five minutes, you know, we can try and fix this problem. The very first troubleshooting step that you should do is restart your iPhone phone as the problem could be sometimes related to the memory management with the iOS operating system. If you are using iPhone with Face ID enabled then you need to press and hold the volume down button and the side button to see the slide to power off option on your screen. Simply slide it to complete the shutdown process then you can press and hold the side button or the power button at the right side for three to four seconds to see the Apple logo and turn on the iPhone. If it is memory management related problem that triggered the error with WhatsApp, then the problem must be fixed by now. Otherwise, you need to check your current iOS version. Some people may forget to update their iOS operating system. So if there is any bug related to the iOS operating system that is affecting your WhatsApp to throw that error, then you need to navigate to set settings, general software update. Make sure you have connected your iPhone to Wi-Fi so that there will not be any issue with the download of the latest iOS software. So make sure the software is updated. And the next important thing is checking whether your WhatsApp is up to date. Navigate to App Store and tap on the profile picture on the top right corner and simply swipe down on your profile page. You know, at the bottom section, you can see the available app updates. Even if it is set to automatic app updates, in settings app store sometimes it may not update automatically due to some bug so in such cases you need to check whether any latest whatsapp update is available and make sure to update the app and then open the whatsapp to see whether the error is fixed or not the next important step is there is a possibility that third-party keyboards could trigger such errors so navigate to settings general keyboards and there you can see the list of keyboards that you have installed and you can simply swipe to the left and you can delete any third-party keyboard you have you know previously you were using it and currently assigned to use it across the system so temporarily disable the keyboard and then open the whatsapp if it is the third party keyboard that caused the problem then the problem will be fixed by now sometimes third party keyboards you know which is also an application have some bug that could crash whatsapp or any other application and the last important step is navigate to settings and then go to general and navigate to iphone storage and it may take a couple of seconds or you know like up to five to ten seconds for some people based on their storage consumption if it is not loading at all i have a separate video published in our channel you can check the link in description and in the first comment i'll pin that you can try and fix that problem first in order to further proceed with this final step Navigate to WhatsApp and you can see the documents and data consumed 5.18 GB in my iPhone and then the app size is 131.1 MB. There you can see the offload app option. We are going to offload just the application. This will not delete your entire WhatsApp and all of its data. It will simply offload the application in case of any uh, troubleshooting steps that is not working easily with application crashes or issues. Apple has provided this wonderful option where we can simply uninstall the app without deleting its data. And then you can navigate to App Store and re-download the WhatsApp Messenger and whatever the bugs that were affecting earlier, you know, will be cleared by now. So try these steps one by one and do let me know in the comment section which step exactly worked for you. Thank you very much and if you have any questions related to iPhone, iPad and Mac, don't forget to search our channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.